Ah, engineering. People see engineering as like this degree where you can literally get a really high paying job right out of college. You know, people think it's really good, it teaches you problem solving skills, and it's just a degree you should get. But obviously the downside is that it's very hard and uh, it, there's a lot of homework, there's a lot of workload, you have to study a lot. So, you know, if you're, let's say a high school student and you really like technology, you like building things, you like um, science and technology in general, you might want to go into engineering, but you might be discouraged because of how engineering is perceived by most people that it's super, super hard. And uh, you might have seen before that the dropout rate for engineering is like, what, 50%, I'm not sure. So in this video, I just want to share with you how much homework I actually got while I was in engineering school. And I'm literally going to go through like each uh, subject or each courses one by one and tell you how much homework I got for each and every one of those. And uh, just to give you some context, I'm a mechanical engineering graduate from Thailand. I just graduated in May last year, so like around uh, seven months ago. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. All right, first semester, first year, English course two. So I didn't actually take this course because my English was already good enough to like skip this course. So moving on. Introduction to computers and programming. Uh, you could basically call this course Introduction to Python because that's pretty much all we did and stuff like, you know, if, else, arrays, stuff like that. I can't even remember like 90% of it anymore. So I actually had no homework for this class. I remember, well, I mean, guess technically it was homework. We were like assigned homeworks after every class, but we were taught in a computer lab. So essentially everybody just stayed after the class was over to do their homework and like submit it uh, the same day that it was assigned. So I guess technically it is homework because it, it like contributes to your overall grade for the class, but it's not like you had to go home and like do it. No, it's just, I don't know, whatever. It, it is homework. I remember it took around like one hour every day to finish the homework uh, right after the class. So that's um, not too much, not too bad in my opinion. Next one, mathematics one. So this is basically like calculus one and two combined. I think in the US you take calculus one and two separately, but calculus one is like mainly a differential calculus, right? And calculus two is like integral calculus. And in my university, we kind of just combined them into one, one course. For this one, I only got uh, one homework before the midterm exam and one homework before the final exam. So two homeworks in total. I remember there were like around 10 questions for each. Um, so that took around like four to five hours to do each. So about nine to 10 hours in total of homework time for the semester. Chemistry for engineers. This is a course that I don't really like because I don't like chemistry. Uh, but anyways, I think it's pretty much the same deal as Mathematics 1. We had one homework before the midterm and one before the final. I feel like, I remember like th there were so many questions for uh, this class compared to Mathematics 1. So instead of taking like four or five hours for each homework, I maybe took like, I don't know, seven to eight hours. So around 14, 16 hours per semester of homework for this class. Applied Physics 1. So yeah, same idea as chemistry, one homework for the midterm and one for the final. I remember th this one being really, really easy though. Physics is like my strong point out of all three science uh, fields. So I didn't spend much time doing the homework. It only took like two or three hours for each one, uh, four to six hours total for the semester. Chemistry laboratory. Yeah, I, I hated this. This was literally like the worst lab I've ever taken. Not only did we have to do lab reports after the lab and if you're an engineering student you know how tiring lab reports are but before we do the actual experiment we actually had to do pre-labs so basically you're supposed to like read read the materials for the lab before the class and then you had to summarize it in like a very specific order almost like a lab report but before you actually do the lab i remember that taking like uh, i don't know like two hours for each one before you even do the lab, you have to do a pre-lab, which took two hours, and then the lab report, which took like another hour. So three hours every week for this single lab. And we had 10 labs in total, so 30 hours for the entire semester. Wow. I think the worst part about this lab is that they didn't let you finish the report 
in class, even if you had extra time left, like they forced you to go and do it at your dorm or something like that, um, which is unlike the next subject that I'm going to be talking about, Physics Lab 1. This, I love this lab because it was, most of them were really short, like took like one or two hours to do. We didn't have to do pre-labs like the previous chemistry lab. And uh, the best thing is you can do the report during the lab if you have like extra time left. So you don't have to go back and do it at home and just like have an extra thing on your mind. You can just do it after you finish and like submit it right before going home. Civic education. Okay, I don't even know why they put this course in the curriculum. It's uh, very easy, but that's because it teaches you basically nothing. I remember I, we didn't have any homework for this, but we had like a project that we had to do for the entire semester. A project that, you know, again, didn't teach us anything, but we had to do it anyways. So I think like in total, I spent only like five or 10 hours on the entire project. Is that There's nothing much I can remember for it other than the fact that it was really, really boring and I really wish it wasn't in the curriculum. Integrated Sciences and Technology. This is an interesting one. So this is a course where like a university hired a bunch of professors, even from outside the university to come in and like lecture us and they would change the professor like every single week and we would be learning uh, different stuff just about like science and technology in general like um, i remember blockchain um, ai machine learning stuff like that we didn't have homework but we did have a quiz at the end of every class all right moving on to first year second semester english course three now this this i took basically it was a course about like teaching you presentation skills like well, how you should structure your PowerPoint in this format and you shouldn't say um, uh, ah uh, all the time, stuff like that. I don't think we had homework. However, we did have to do like three presentations where we could pick any topic that we want, but we had to like do it in a format that this class teaches. And like the total preparation that it took for those three presentations took me, I don't know, 10 hours in total for the entire semester. Introduction to Biological Science, aka Biology. I don't remember getting homeworks for this class, uh, but we had a quiz at the beginning of every class. So not necessarily homeworks, but you just had to like study for them for the quiz at the beginning of the class anyways. Environmental studies, yep, same idea as before, except the quiz is moved to the end of the class this time. So uh, no homework, but we did have to do like a project and like present it in front of the class on topics regarding the environments. It didn't took much time, like maybe six to eight hours. So not too much. Mathematics too. Okay, so no homework, if I remember correctly. But again, quiz at the end of every class. Applied physics too. Okay, so this is another course where you have one homework before doing the midterm and one homework before doing the finals. I mean, it's kind of, it was kind of like applied physics one in terms of the workload. So only six to eight in total for the entire semester. Physics lab two. Yeah, same idea as physics lab one we just had to do the report and we usually did it in class so i don't want to consider that as homework thai studies yeah okay so uh, in case you didn't know i am thai and i graduated from a university in thailand so we had to take this course no homework but we did have a quiz at the end of every class and along with that we had to do three presentations so in total i think uh that takes around about 10 hours for the entire semester so, so far you guys might be thinking that like, I'm barely getting any homework, like I'm mostly just doing quizzes. And I have to tell you that it really just varies from university to university. It also depends on like the country. It depends on what major you're getting because I feel like the amount of homework that you're actually getting depends so much on like who's teaching you, the professors that's teaching you. You know, maybe they're just too lazy to get out homeworks and you know, grade it. Year two, semester one. Basic electrical engineering, I remember we had one homework before the midterm and one before the final so pretty pretty good and like the homework only took one hour each like it was really really short manufacturing tools and operations i don't remember getting homeworks for this although i do remember that we had like a couple of quizzes every now and then mathematics 3 essentially like linear algebra combined with complex analysis into one course no homework oh wait no we did have like yeah, we did have one homework before the midterm and one for the final. And along with that, we had like one quiz before the midterm and another quiz before the final. Uh, not too much workload for this, I think. Only like 10 hours in total for the entire semester. Ah, differential equations. So this is probably my most hated course 
in my entire degree. However, we didn't get any homework for this class. Uh, we had one quiz before the midterm and one quiz before the final, which is like something you had to study for, but um, can't really call it homework, I guess. Engineering drawing. So this is one of the easiest course that I took. No homework, although we essentially at the end of every class, they, they'll give us like a work to do. So they'll give us like a piece of equipment that we had to do drawings on. Not really homework, it's something that you do after the lesson is done and then you just submit it before you go home. Uh, it, it does have an impact on your grade, but you know, you don't take it home to do it. So I don't call it homework, it's classwork really. Thermodynamics. So this is like a very scary course for most mechanical engineers. I found it to be not too shabby. I don't think it was too hard, but didn't get any homework for it. Uh, no quiz either, so just the midterms and the finals that contribute to your grade. Engineering statics. This is one of the easier courses that I would say is in my degree. Uh, I've got one homework before the midterm and one before the final, and uh, that's it. And they were pretty, uh, they, were, they weren't too hard. It only took like five hours each, so again, 10 hours in total. All right, moving on to semester two. Basic electrical engineering laboratory. So this is basically doing the labs on what you learned from previous semester when you did basic electrical engineering. And uh, fortunately, we didn't have pre-labs, we just had lab reports. But I, re I remember that the professor that taught us this course was like, he was very picky and meticulous about the report. Like, the format had to be very, very uh, specific. And I just remember that it was really, really long. Like every single reports were like at least 10 pages long. And that took like, two or three hours every week to do. So this is one of the more tedious labs that I had to do, but it's still not as bad as the chemistry lab. Basic electrical machines and power system. Remember we had uh, one homework before the midterm and one before the final, but it wasn't graded. Like it didn't contribute to your overall grade at the end. You just kind of do it and then grade it together in class with the professor. So I don't know if you can call it homework. Um, but again, it's not too hard. It only took me like four hours to do each, so eight in total for the semester. English language structures. This is super easy. Like I barely studied for this course. Uh, no homework, no quiz. Wait, were there homework? I can't remember. Yeah, there weren't any homeworks. There were classworks that we had to like show the professor at the end of every class, but no homework, no action. Introduction to computer-aided design. So this is very similar to the Python course in terms of like the homework structure. The course is about basically learning how to use SOLIDWORKS to design things. And technically there aren't any homeworks. Uh, just like the Python course, there's like tasks that the professor gives you at the end of every class. You can do it as homework, but everybody just stayed after the class and do it in the lab to finish it. I don't know if you can really call that homework. Uh, it's kind of homework, but you don't, uh, you do it after the class. So it's not like too, too bad. And it took around like one hour every week. So around 14 hours in total for the entire course. Solid mechanics one, no homeworks, no quizzes, just the exams. Fluid dynamics. This is another one of those scary courses that you typically hear mechanical engineers talk about. I got three homeworks before the midterm and three homeworks before the final. So six in total. I didn't think they were too, too hard. I, only, I probably only spent like 12 or 14 hours in total. Engineering dynamics. One homework before the midterm and another one before the final. I found this course to be quite hard, but the homeworks itself, it's like, I don't think it was too bad. The, the professors gave us easy questions for the homeworks. They're probably like 10 hours in total for the entire course. Integrated humanities. I don't even remember what this course is. <laughs> Whatever it is, I don't think we had homeworks for it. Um, oh, it was like a history course, like a world history course. I remember it now. Okay, we had a quiz every now and then, not every week, but uh, like probably like five quizzes in total for the entire course. Uh, no homework, uh, pretty easy course, but I still got a C plus anyways, because I didn't, I didn't really care about it. 